Now, for example, I'm being straight, uh, honest, and truthful with you is that whether it's a strip method or an FUE method being done, if the doctor takes out a thousand grafts, okay, he thinks, well, maybe a thousand will fit here. So he takes out a thousand grafts for you, and he realizes that, gee, 1,500 grafts will fit. Most, most physicians will not go back into the donor, take the time to take out those grafts and put them in. It's unfortunate and it's sad, but that's the case. However, with the Lexus procedure that I'm offering my patients, okay, that mistake, that judgment error can never be made. You see, when you make the recipient sites first, you know exactly what you need. There is no question, no doubt, you see. Then we move into the back with the proper technology to expedite that FUE extraction with manual, manual, with sensitive hands to pull the grafts out, okay, in, in, instead of a suction device, right? Now again, remember, I'm not saying the fully automatic system is not acceptable. It is acceptable but there are parameters that cannot be controlled like using your own hands. I know how much to pull. I could stop pulling, I could pull a little bit more, I could pull a little bit, little bit less in regarding pulling out the graft. You don't have that flexibility with the fully automatic process. Plus, when I pull out the graft with my method, I put it right into saline or lactated ringers or a chilled solution right away. In the fully automatic process, the graft, right, you're cutting into the back of the head, you're waiting for the suction device to pull out the graft, you're hoping it doesn't damage the graft, which in most cases it does not, but it can. And then as that graft works through the tubing system into the filter, now the graft is in the filter. It's not, it's not in chilled saline or, or a chilled solution. It's, it's, fil it's in a filtered device which has to be checked periodically because they can dry out, okay? Now the doctors who have the, the fully automatic device, okay, know to check that filter and to make sure it's moist or, take, or, or stop the process, pull the filter out, take the grass out, okay? And make sure the tubing is sterile, everything is clean, okay? They ought to do that or they should know to do that. Now the question I have is what if that tube was not sterilized? What if the filter wasn't? What if it wasn't replaced? What if the filter was not checked in time and all of those grafts are dry? When a graft becomes dry, it dies, you see? So there's more variables to watch for. And the control element is not, not as strong, okay? Now again, I, I want to say that the fully automatic method is okay, and it is. Okay, I believe from my explanation and argument that clearly the Lexus procedure with a semi-automatic process with the proper instru instrumentation here, with the proper stereoscopic guidance, with the proper LED overhead OR lighting, with, with the proper hands and technique, this power there, this speed, this efficiency, this accuracy, okay? Especially when I told you, and I want you to remember, when you make the incisions first, you know exactly what the patient needs. You know exactly what fits on that scalp. There is no guesswork or guesstimation or estimation, you see. It's um, an excellent procedure for the patient. I hope doctors uh, would watch this video to learn and to understand what I'm saying because it'll help them in their practice as well, okay? Now, if there are any questions about this, I, I even take physician questions, as they call, okay? Uh, I, I'm more than happy to assist my colleagues. I'm more than happy to take any questions from patients, even if they go to other doctors, okay? But just be cautious uh, in, in what you're getting yourself into uh, watch the videos I have in regard, regarding 
these scams and all that nonsense that occurs that's fraught within this industry. And I want you to be armed with information. That's why I would show you devices. I would show you instrumentation. I'd explain in detail and take the time. This is not a three-minute video. I don't make three-minute videos, as you noticed. I take the time as I would do in consultation with you, okay? Uh, and if you sat down with me in consultation, we would review this in detail. Very important information. Uh, and I believe that the patient ought to know these things, okay? Uh, and due diligence on your end, okay? If you need to examine this particular doctor and uh, question him and his work, etc., and then this particular doctor. And again, I warn patients never, ever make the decision right on the spot. Don't let the doctor force you into a position. That, that I again discuss in the unfortunately titled, I <laughs> say unfortunate, uh, the hair transplant lies, fibs, and fables video that I produced. There's two parts, part one and two. I strongly encourage you watch that, okay? But again, just a quick recap. Uh, the strip method will be obsolete. Uh, the reason why it's not is because it's becoming cheaper and cheaper. Uh, the strip method is much easier for the doctor to do because he cuts a strip out, hands it over to his assistants, they do all the work. When we move into the follicular unit extraction arena, okay, and we discuss three techniques. Again, the manual, right, the manual technique, semi-automatic that I discussed with the Lexus procedure, and the fully automatic where it has this device and a tube and a filter. That FUE technology really is the future, okay? That's today, really. It should have been yesterday, okay? And the strip method should have been out of the picture, okay? Um, that basically covers it, just a rough overview of uh, the Lexus FUE procedure. And it, again, reviewed briefly the strip method. We discussed the follicular unit involving a manual, semi-automatic, which includes my procedure, the Lexus procedure, and the fully automatic. We discussed the pros and cons, right, advantages and disadvantages of each procedure. Uh, if I had more time, we would discuss more elements of it, okay, but we can do that in consultation, or I'll put it in print, ultimately. Uh, you'll see that uh, we'll always update our website, uh, print, and um, content material for you uh, so you can get a better understanding of these uh, issues and uh, let me leave you off with that again if there are any questions you can call at any time you can email us never a problem we have the time for you